Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick little speed and camera test comparison between the iPhone 6s here. I'm just going to quickly show you that this is the 6s model um, and also uh, I also compare it with the 6, the, the normal 6 version. Uh, so you can also check that video out. Uh, also, you can see here the this is the Nexus 5X in blue color. So I'm just gonna quickly start this test off with the with the normal boot up here. So here we go. So this uh, Nexus 5X comes with the Snapdragon 808 chipset. Uh, definitely not the the best f to offer from Android course on the other hand the iPhone 6s here comes with Apple a9 chipset which is a dual core chipset but very powerful um, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit okay so um, let's just quickly first unlock both phones and I'm just gonna close everything in the background and you can see that both looks very smooth there is no lag while scrolling here and there so uh, first off we'll just qu quickly do a benchmark uh, I do have Geekbench 3 application installed on both phones so here we go accept and we are just gonna hit the benchmark I'm just gonna connect to the internet connection first So we'll see which phone will score more. Here we go. And we'll be back when it's done. Okay, so both phones are done and we got a score of 4,470 on the iPhone 6S, which is way better than the uh, the Nexus 5X score, which is the 3,225. And the same goes for the single core. So iPhone 6S definitely wins the in the benchmark world. Uh, let's see if this is going to help the iPhone 6S uh, beating the Nexus 5X in terms of real-life tests so we're just gonna uh, try out opening some of the applications there side by side so first off we will start with uh, some basic application like phone dialer so here we go Wow Nexus 5X is really really fast um, let's see here both were equal by the way in the first app uh, let's see we got subway surfer here we go see here iPhone 6s Wow really really fast there like I said the horsepower is a lot more greater here with the iPhone 6s uh, you can see Nexus 5x took a lot of time there let's see what else we got uh, calculator versus the calculator on the Nexus 5x which is where it is okay I'm just gonna search there we go and we're just gonna open it with the iOS default calculator app so there we go and you can see it's almost almost the same time and let's try out let's see here settings there we go you can see iPhone 6 is slightly faster there um, let's see Viber there we go oops just wanna try that out one more time uh, both have uh, 2 gigs of RAM so you can see that iPhone 6s took, took a little time there um, <clears throat> what's app 1 2 3 go iPhone 6s slightly faster again um, and it's on the iOS 9.1 by the way that's the latest version of the iOS currently uh, let's see here we got temple run here we go Okay, I'm just gonna cancel this game center thing as you can see Wow iPhone 6s still loaded the app first let's see what else we got that we can see twitch maybe Twitter yeah there you go and again iPhone 6s wins so uh, seems like iPhone 6s is doing a great job here but that doesn't mean that this phone is a laggy phone is still doing a great job also um, 
<clears throat> but still, specs wise, it's not up to the mark as compared to iPhone 6s. So benchmarks are telling the true story. So uh, let's try out the the camera application. There we go. Let's see which one will be faster this time. You can see that there was a Nexus 5x took a lot of time to open up the camera application. So I'm just gonna go back and quickly run a internet speed test here. Uh, I do have that application installed, so we're also going to open that one at the same time. Uh, both are connected to the same Wi-Fi connection, by the way. So I'm just gonna cancel this. <coughs> okay. So both are taking some time, maybe it's because of the Wi-Fi connection currently. I'm just going to connect it to any separate or any other Wi-Fi connection that I have. Okay, so I ran the test one by one on both devices and seems like iPhone 6s is doing a little bit better job here. So uh, if we compare the scores here side by side, uh, as you can see, we got better scores in download 20.83 here versus 11.38. And uh, but upload wise, it's not that much better as compared to Nexus 5X, but still uh, very nice leaps on the download speed <clears throat> and also slightly better ping so yeah that was the uh, quick internet test now if we just quickly take a look at the camera and some of the sample side by side to see, uh, to see which phone actually give us a better quality you know uh, so first off if we talk about the the camera uh, the iPhone 6s comes with a 12 megapixel sensor while this one comes with 12.3 and uh, this is dual LED flash and also it has uh, laser autofocus so some pretty nice things and uh, if we just quickly open up the camera application that we can access on both of these two phones from their lock screens so as you can see and so this is the latest Google camera application um, that is also available to install on other Android phones if you want to check that video out you can also see that on my channel so uh, uh, we got if we swipe left and right we can go into camera and video mode so they made this uh, UI of the Google camera more awesome and more easy to use so clicking on the top left corner will give you these options for a sphere panorama uh, lens blur and um, then some settings uh, and then also uh, from where you can change the video resolution and all that and then also on the iPhone 6s we got uh, a very nice uh, UI which is like even more simpler to use uh, as compared to Nexus 5x so uh, you can just swipe left and right to change the modes panorama scare photo video slow motion video and time lapse so it's pretty easy to get used to this uh, iphone 6s camera app and then also we have on the top uh, right corner you can switch to front camera you also have the live photo mode timer hdr and flash option there so it's pretty nice you can also have some effects so overall you will find both of these two uh, camera application with nice features so uh, let's just compare some of the photos uh, photo sample side by side to see uh, the quality differences and, and all that so here we have the sample number one uh, so as you can see this was uh, a low light test uh, basically uh, all the phones uh, can perform nicely uh, outdoors but you know the real test is in indoors where there is less light so uh, yeah, this is this was an indoor picture uh, of this teddy bear, and you can see that on the Nexus 5X, you can see this is like a little bit more in focus, while the iPhone 6S kind of blurs it out. Blurs it out. Uh, you know, iPhone 6S did a great job by producing a good picture, but as you can see, it's not clear as the Nexus 5X. Uh, with the focus so you will see a little more blurry here as compared to Nexus 5X so that's that I think that's because of the bigger sensor so I'm really impressed by the low light performance of the Nexus 5X iPhone success is also good but still in these conditions you will if you zoom in and you know take a look at a little bit more detail you will see a uh, slight better slightly better uh, quality on the Nexus 5X um, 
you know, just because of the advantage of having bigger um, sensors. So let's just see here this picture. Uh, this is bright enough on both phones, uh, but here it seems like Nexus 5X actually, uh, you know, just brighten the whole photo from the background a little bit too much. Uh, but I think with the iPhone 6S, it's uh, it's like a little bit in control. Uh, but overall, colors looks awesome on both phones. And as you can see here, wow, look at that. That's like too much light there. So I'm just going to scroll and show you guys any other picture that I, ha that I have. So let's see here. Yes, uh, we should compare this one. This is also a low light shot. Here it seems like iPhone 6S is kind of winning uh, with a little bit more bright. I mean a uh, little bit more brighter, uh, brighter here <coughs> at the bottom. So uh, seems like uh, the Nexus 5X doesn't actually give us the control with the exposure like the iPhone 6S gives. You know, when you focus and you can slide and control the exposure. Uh, so <clears throat> that's also one thing that I wanted to mention. But it seems like uh, both are giving a, re a really nice quality. Uh, but you can see iPhone 6S providing a little more brighter view in the background also. So. <clears throat> Let's see what else we can see here. Uh, yeah, this one. This is also pretty nice. Here you can see that both phones did a great job outdoor. Like I said, outdoor wise, uh, they will do absolutely, they will produce absolutely stunning results. So you can see that pretty bright photo there. Uh, let's see here. We can see a little bit more. Pick comparison with this Mountain Dew tin. Uh, seems like it's a little bit more brighter on the iPhone 6s uh, you can see it's more greenish with the Nexus 5x so I really like this picture on the Nexus 5x uh, also this uh, you know this part is also not that much brighter like the 6s has you know way 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 brighter uh, it's not as much clear as the Nexus 5X so yeah you'll see small differences between these two phones in camera and uh, most of the time you will notice that uh, both are doing absolutely great job uh, you will not going to have that much of problem you know outdoor quality is really really amazing look at the detail look at that oh my god look at that it was a perfect shot actually so I it, it took me like two or three minutes to capture this shot uh, so as you can see here, we can easily see that there is an insect here, uh, but uh, whatever, it's an insect or a bee, whatever, but uh, you can see that both are producing stunning results. Overall, uh, see, uh, if we look at how people use their devices, they don't really do professional photography using their phones. Uh, they just do casual photography, photography, but they're really nice. I mean, these phones are really capable of uh, producing great results, but still we prefer DSLRs over smartphones. Uh, but there will be a time when these phones will going to overcome DSLRs. And uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, I will make a separate video to compare the video and audio because, uh, of course, a lot of people are not interested in that because they don't really make like a lot of uh, professional videos out of their phone. But, yeah, I, I, I will make a separate video for video and audio where you will see the video quality and the audio uh, differences. And I'm going to upload that test in 4K because both phones are capable of recording a 4K video. So, yeah, that will be an awesome test that will be uploaded on my channel tomorrow, uh, hopefully. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you click the subscribe button down below. And, um, and overall, just to give you my verdict, uh, if you talk about the price, I also did a full comparison where I talked about the form factor and all that. So if we talk about the price, I think Nexus 5X is definitely a winning here because its camera is pretty nice. And uh, even though it's not as fast as the iPhone 6S, but still uh, in, the, in my country, it's, it's way, way more or less. It's almost like $400, while the uh, iPhone 6S still costs around 
around like $700. So for the base model, which is 16 gigabyte only, so you can't really enjoy recording 4K videos and you know taking a lot of photos. So yeah, do keep that in mind. So it's all my full comparison between these two phones. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. And if you want me to make some specific videos, uh, some specific comparison between these two phones, do let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.